are beginning a new feature here on the site, a series of one-on-one -on -one interviews featuring our contributing editor, Denise Caruso, and some of the most interesting people in the world of high technology. Her guest tonight is a 21-year-old college student named Justin Hall. But before we get to the interview, who is Justin Hall and why is he noteworthy? Well, Justin Hall got pretty well known for publishing a couple of years ago a very strange um, homegrown web page called Justin's Links from the Underground. But what's really interesting about Justin is he really loves the web and he's a fabulous teacher. And he traveled all across the country teaching people how to do their own publishing on the web. You describe yourself on, uh, on your site as a high-volume web, web page generating aminal. Aminal, uh, that's can right. You, can you, first of all, sort of tell us what HTML is, which is the... Okay, so right now we're looking at my web page, okay. right? Can we look at what HTML yeah, is? Yeah, you can, you can look at what? The, you can look at the HTML of any web page on the net by going to view and then going to document source or view source and other programs. There it is. And so this HTML. is... This is right, okay, here we go. Howdy. I'm Justin, right? So we've got right. what this does. The DD here indents it, indents the howdy, and then the P goes to the next line. Indent, next line, next line, next oh, okay, line. Okay, so it's just little codes. That's how it, it looks. It just looks like text, and then when you put it up on the web, it looks like that. So there's an in, indent, there's line, break, indent so line break, indent line break. So you got interested in this as sort of a populist publishing Medium well, that's what it became. When I first put up my web pages, all I talked about was the web, right? I'm surfing the web a lot, and here's the cool stuff I find. And then all of a sudden, I'm telling the story of my life, and I think, this is really a powerful publishing medium, because I'm a 20-year-old guy. I can write about my life, and thousands of people will come and read it every day. This is really a revolution. And then I think, huh, wait. I'm from a wealthy background. I'm white, and I'm a guy. This is kind of the same thing that's been happening in publishing for the last four or 500 years. So maybe what I should do is see, give it to other people, what, whether this, whether this can catch on in other right. demographics. The other thing was that I've been blessed, right? Because I need certain things in my life and I've found a way to get them, right? I can give my love to, as I said to my girlfriends, you know, I gave you two, you know, you couldn't handle everything I had to give you. Well, the net can handle everything I can give it and I get a lot of love back. And so maybe I should spread that around, right? So I put up a notice on my webpage and I said, if you agree with all this drivel, then invite me to your town, put me up in your house, pay my Greyhound bus ticket and let me sleep on your floor and I'll teach people in your community how to make webpages. I posted the message on November 15, 1995 and I got three responses with within two hours, seven responses by the end of the day, and within like two months, I had 28 cities That's across wild. the U.S. and Canada. I got offers from Panama and London and Australia too, but they couldn't pay my Greyhound so bus you've put, you've put up, um, you've put up uh, all the visits that you made. Let's just for, let's just talk about the one place that you went that really affected you yeah. most. And, and, and well, what one, was one of the things I said is that. I, I wrote to them and I said, you know what I would really like is if we could find a group that would not otherwise appear on the internet and I'll come in and help them make a web page. And in Wichita, Kansas, my host Rob Bodorf, who already had a web page where he was writing about his life like I was, picked me up and had set up a gig at this place called the Breakthrough Club in Wichita, which is a clubhouse for mentally ill. They come there to get vocational training. They come there to get drug rehab info. They come there to, it's kind of, you know, the midpoint between society and sort of needing some help to get into things, right. you know? So this was a place where they had some computers, they had a line out to the internet, but they didn't, they hadn't really touched the idea of making a web page. Six hours I spent there. We had three computers going. I had my laptop connected to the net. We had their computers connected to the net. And in six hours, we got 10 people making pages. We had six folks, right? Six mentally ill folks, some of whom had to type like this, right? one finger at a time, I am Mike, I like sports, you know, then there's other people who had strokes and couldn't type and they would, and you, we would hook them up with people who could type and they were telling their stories and all of a sudden you can go to their site and you can read people who are, you know, the mentally ill, right? That's kind of a pariah group. Right. But if you go to this webpage, all of a sudden you're hearing the direct voice of someone who wouldn't otherwise appear in the sanitary technology world and they're telling their story directly. Yeah. Oh, I was totally touched. I spent six hours there and in the end of the afternoon, a 72-year-old illiterate truck driving woman named Cleota decided that we were going to make a web page for her and I typed up her story on there about growing up in rural Kansas not having access to education let alone any of this stuff the net yeah and now her story's out there I don't know I find that it's like putting a human face on the internet well you know what's interesting about it though is that a lot of people who are on the net now look at this look at that kind of stuff as what they call the junk that's on the internet there's sure. just a lot of junk on the internet all this stuff people's you know pictures of their dogs or whatever mm -hmm. 
you know, do people ever tell you that they think your stuff is meaningless? I mean... Very rarely do I get people saying this is junk, this is a waste of my time, because the, it's a freedom of media, they just click away. What I get more often that, that is the positive feedback is they say, wait, you're writing honestly and personally about your father committing suicide when you were eight. That's momentous. My father died when I was young, or my father died last year, or I'm an alcoholic and I have kids, or some piece of your story connects with my story, and that means a lot to me, and that's something that I don't see in other places, someone telling me that story directly. And so that's what makes me say, gosh, you know, this could really change people's lives. I think that probably a lot of people, though, are still really sort of nervous and scared about getting on the internet what would what would you tell them to sort of Fortunately, computers are becoming easier to use, and so I have twofold recommendations. One, just know that it's possible, right? You're never too old, you're not too young. Now, the second thing is, it's hard. What are you gonna do, go out and buy a book? Or are you gonna get on the TV and watch the show? Well, how are you gonna find out how to get on? Right. Find a geek buddy. Who do you know who has an email address? Ask them how they got it. How do they check their email? Well, if that's the place you want to be at, then get them to help you. And by now, there's a lot of prol proliferation. I would be in poor neighborhoods in Boston showing my computer, my digital camera to people sitting on stoops who said, oh yeah, you know, my friend's got an email address. And it's sort of like, it's why, you know, it's widespread yeah. enough where, right. you know, you can find someone to help you out. When we come back, Justin Hall gives us all a short introduction to the basics of creating a web page. From now on, NBC News and Microsoft will revolution. Okay, so you're sort of a, an HTML god in, in, the, in the web world. Um, can you tell us what HTML is? Um, yeah, HTML is the means by which I communicate, right? It's a way that you can take your thoughts, your writings, and pictures, and you put these little codes in, in your text documents and you put them up on the web. Well, why don't we take a look at it? Should we do yeah. that? Yeah, so right now we're looking at my web page, okay, right? Okay, this is Justin's a, web page. There's a picture of me, then then each one of these things where it's howdy and then a return and then just each one of those I had to put a little, little bit of HTML in there so that you would get to the next line so that HTML would know, so that Netscape here would know then, to go to the next and line. Then the, and then wherever, and the links, wherever it's pink, those are the links. And, that's and that's and another little bit of HTML. Let's do a little HTML lesson. Sure. Okay. Well, let's, um, we opened up before the view source page back there. So why don't we go to file new? If you were on Windows, you would want to use um, text edit or, or uh, I can't recall what it's called. This is okay. simple text in Mac. You just type, type a sentence that you'd want to appear on your web page. Hi, I'm Denise Caruso, and I am finally getting around to setting up a home page. Well, if you and type that fast Justin. for the rest of it, now hit return and type more. Type more, Justin says. Okay. Okay, happy to be here. Great, save it. Okay, so now wait, so go to desktop maybe. We'll just stick it out there where we can see it. Okay, now give it a file name like Denise. No, 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 okay, wait. Give it a file name that's all lowercase, no spaces, no punctuation, period, HTML, critical, period, HTML, return. It's okay in Windows and DOS to do period, HTM. Got it. Too. Okay, so now go, go to your Netscape down there. Okay, so you got Netscape open. Now go to fi file. You, anybody with a web browser can do this at home. F open file. So you can type a few words, save it as some, a text file.html, open your decaruso.html. Oh, I see there's a And look at it. Up. There's your web page. Except for the fact, look at what's going on there. Can you tell what's going on there? No. It's not, if you... Oh, there's no... There's no line break. There's no line break. Yeah, it's all running together. Okay. So let's put in just one bit of HTML so you can, so we can see where it starts. Okay. okay, go to the end after my name and period, right, where you want the line break to be. Right. Okay, this is, the fundamentals of HTML are shift, comma. Shift, comma. Oh, P. okay, right. P. Shift, period. Save. Now, now reload it in Netscape, see what it looks like. All right. Now, Dude. once you know that, you can view the source of any page on the internet, see how it looks, see how the text is laid together, copy those things and put them into your own web page. Okay. The way I put it is, mentally ill people in Wichita can pick up web page making in five hours. You can do it. I teach web seminars at college. Anybody can pick this stuff up in, in an hour, in two hours. Great. And if you, you type as fast as you there? do, yeah, I mean, you do it. You okay, did. So, what am I so let's do? 
Go to, go to your, your simple text right there. Yeah. Okay, why don't we do one thing, though? Before you get to your gift, why don't we make my name a link to my web page? Oh, jeez, okay. So go there. So how you make a link is you open up a... How do you think you start the HTML tag? I think you would start it with shift comma. I think you're right, Denise. <laughs> Such a smart host. Okay, A for anchor. Yeah. This, is, this is about as obscure as the net gets, okay? okay. A space... H-R-E-F, hypertext reference, okay? It sounds a little obscure, but you've gotten sorry. through the and thick of it. Equals, it. equals, yeah. quote, yep, d now the, two, the double quotes, and then it's H, and then you type in my address. Which is? HTTP, colon, slash, slash, www, period, justin.com. But if you wanted, or oh. org, or yeah. So if you wanted to link to the site, it would be www.thesite.com, or okay. denise.com, and, the... and then you do a, 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 a shift period, right? Now. The way this works is that you've opened up what whatever follows that is going to be blue, right, as an underlined right. link until you until you end it. So go to after Justin, and, and now open another tag, and do a slash a. That ends the a that you began. That's it. That is it. You've made a link now. That's, no, you got to save it. Nope. You got to save it before you reload it. A lot of people are like Justin, I I made it, I changed my web page and nothing happened. But, so now hit reload right up there. And you made a link. I made a link. So now you've done you've done format you've learned formatting right how to lay the text right. out you've learned how to make a link let's put a picture in real quick. Okay. So go back to your document there. So why don't you go to the end we'll put your picture on the end sort of a nice you know P.S. I love you. You're right. Uh, open up a little HTML character. I M G. What does that stand for? Uh, I don't know. Image. Image. Space. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine. S R C. What do you think that stands for? Source. Source equals. And then quote. And then what's the name of the picture? dcaruso.gif. Okay. We're at whatever the file name is. This could be a URL link. Okay. And that's all you need to do because that's it, it. That's it. This could be a link to a, a file that exists out on the net. This could be an. Okay. I'll go back down there. Hit reload. <laughs> Great. Well, we've done it. We've Thank done you very it. much. Sure. Nice talking to you. Absolutely. Wonderful talking Great. to you, Denise. Hello there, my friends. This is Dev Null, your favorite cyber gossip, asking you the important question. Is there some celebrity, industry, uh, great, uh, some person you'd like to hear from here at the site? Well, we'd like to hear from you. Email us at thebin at zd.com or call us. Leave some voicemail at 415-437-5892. Don't forget to tell us how we can reach you. And thanks for the tip. Bye-bye. What's this, a nickel? A tip? You call that a tip? That's no tip! Edgewise with John Hockenberry premieres September 7th. You're connected to M5.